Already cancelled. Already cancelled. Already cancelled. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Already Cancelled. Hello. Hey, you going, guys? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Hey, exciting show today. We've got a little announcement to make. We'll do that in a couple of minutes' time. Uh, we're going to be covering what's trending around the world with what's popping. Uh, the What's her name again? Princess something? Kate Middleton. Oh, Kate Middleton. Oh, for some reason, I kept, of saying, I, kept, I, kept saying, I kept on thinking Diana. Oh, but that's, that's the old one. Yeah, that's about 40 years ago, mate. Yeah, so what's going on ago. there? Yeah. Um, I took a trip, took the kids to the Easter show, oh. had a blast of a time. I love the Easter show. I'm done with the Easter show. Why? Oh, it's just, I don't know. Every time I think about the Easter show, I think about like ex-partners that I've gone with. Oh. Mm. And it's just like, is that the curse? Is it the Easter show curse? It could be the <laughs> Every curse. Every person I've taken to the Easter show, I just don't end up. Being with forever. Oh, well, let's find That's more so about. That we'll, we'll dive into that because there's probably something going on there. Yaz uh, is spending a night out at at, a, at the food trucks. Yeah, so obviously during the holy month of Ramadan, to all our beautiful Muslim brothers and sisters celebrating out there, um, they're opening you know restaurants, cafes, food trucks all the way up until like four a.m. in the morning because wow. obviously they're fasting during the day, yeah, so everyone yeah. likes to eat at night. I went down to one of the markets in uh, Chester Hill. And I got bombarded. Okay. As soon as you pull the camera out, it's game over. Oh, jeez. All right. So lots to cover, lots to dive into. Again, this is already cancelled. We record out of Hills Podcast Studio, beautiful place that we do this at. And, uh, mate, I'm pumped for this this uh, announcement. So let's get straight to it. Uh, guys, mm. this is a big move for us. Mm -hmm. uh, ever since we launched, we wanted to provide as much content as we could. Yes. We, we hit out... What at the at the start we were doing six episodes a week. It was yeah. very ambitious. <laughs> well, the, I think the thing about it was just being able to get content out there, get episodes out there for you to just dive into, and yeah. you can just live within like the the the, the key and yaz of Nisha universe. Sphere. Yeah, the yeah. universe, <laughs> the yeah. already cancelled universe, uh, and it's it's slowly reduced its way down now. Well, the last last week we did two. This week we are going off with one episode a week, and here's the reason why. We want to give you the absolute best of us. Yes. We put all our energies into this one episode uh, that you can carry throughout your week. So a lot of the time you can only listen to a podcast where you're on public transport for half an hour. Maybe you don't get to finish an episode. Yeah. This is what's going to allow you to have the time throughout the week to get the full episode yeah. um, and be able to enjoy it in its entirety. Yeah. And don't forget, we also have like so many episodes out as well at the moment, like on our uh, you know, wherever you listen to your podcast from. So there's so many to binge, you know, listen to exactly. uh, or watch. In on fact, YouTube. there's 47 releases already up there and we've been yeah. here for two months. Exactly. It's, it's crazy. That's yeah. pretty wild. Uh, 33 episodes and like about 12, 12 or 15 bonuses. So yeah. there's a ton of content there for you. Of course, we're on Instagram as well. You can check out all our social videos. Um, some of it's our fun joke stuff and the other stuff is also <laughs> things from the podcast as well. Yes. So make sure you catch up with that hit follow on our Instagram account. But yes, again, it's all about packing it with more laughs, um, packing it with more entertainment, surprise twists. Yep. But again, the best content coming to you <laughs> once a week and it's going to be every single Tuesday as well. Oh, how much yep. do you love Key and selling something? Okay, it's the best. Do you, can I ask it's you, the best. like seriously, do you prepare for it? He doesn't, no way. Like if you were to ask me to be like, all right, Yaz, you've got, you're in charge of telling everyone we're going down to one podcast. I would literally come here and be like, all right, guys, we've made the decision. <laughs> one podcast. Hopefully you can do what you can with it. Enjoy well, it. I just, That's what I would well, do. I, what do I imagine is I'm sitting in the car yeah. with the listener who's our friend yeah. and I'm driving yeah. and I'm looking, turning to them on the, on the, in Australia there on the left and I'm just telling them and I'm like, all right, I'm pumped. I'm like, we're doing this. We're heading. We're going. We know where we're going. Yeah. It's so you true. You know what I mean? But Kian doesn't do it just for like, this is like, people have to understand this is the essence of Kian. He oh, doesn't yeah. do it just for like, oh, this is one thing that we're focusing on. I'm going to like try and sell it. Everything in his life is a yeah. sales pitch. I'm a, I'm, a passion, I'm a passionate guy. Forgive <laughs> yeah. me. I'm a passionate man. Yeah, you're right. one of the You're one of the best talkers I've ever come across in my life. Thank you. Yeah. So mark this in your calendars. <laughs> oh Set your alarms. <laughs> and get ready for the ride. One episode a week. It's a big drop. Yeah. One big drop a week. Okay, let's get straight to this stuff. Uh, whilst we still got you here, um, headline stories. Yes, uh, the latest and greatest around the world. What's popping? Yeah, this one's a bit of a sad one though. So the disappearance of Kate Middleton. 
I think everyone has seen this. So a lot of people have seen this on the, you know, for you page, newsfeed about what's going on. It's been explained, but there were a lot of conspiracy theories going on. So mm. let's start from the beginning. Let's start with who the hell Kate Middleton is, please. So she's a princess of Wales. Is she's married is she the to Aussie? Charles? No, she's, she's, the, no, she's no. married to William. Yes. Is, so she, no, the, is she the Aussie yes. chick? Is she <laughs> Aussie? Hold on. I don't know. One of them is a is an Aussie chick. No, she's not Aussie. I don't no, believe she's, she's Aussie. Um, One of, someone is Aussie. I don't know if it's like the Dukes of... of Jamont or some <laughs> shit. Yes, <Yeah, laughs> so Duke Jamont. He's, he's a DJ, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's married to William. You're right. Sorry. So Ken. wait, she's not the Australian chick. No. Okay. No, cool. she's not. She's not. I have Australian. guys. You got to understand. I have no idea and no care in the world for the royal family. Either do I. I just well, no, regurgitate people, what I hear. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people. Uh, she's from the UK. Don't. Yeah, she's from the UK, right? Yeah. But yeah, a lot of people don't care about the, the royals. I think this is. But I think what this story highlights, though, is a lot more, which we'll get into. But firstly, what happened was, and from my understanding, Kate Middleton came out uh, at the beginning of the year and she said she had abdominal surgery, but then she disappeared. Yes. Right? Yes. And people were a bit confused because with abdominal surgery, people were you know, speculating, saying it doesn't take that long. To recover. You know, 14 days, to, you know, it might take to recover if it's minor or, you know, whatever. So people started, you know. Speculating, speculating. that they killed her. And yeah, yeah. There was a lot of stuff. And then a photo came out on March 10th uh, from Ken- Kensington Palace and it kind of circulated on the internet of the Princess of Wales smiling with her children in honor of Mother's Day in the UK, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and this picture would have marked only, I think it was like the second of only two public appearances by Kate since yeah. Christmas Day, which is weird because she was very much in the public eye. Of course, eye. Yeah, it's part of a job, right? But the problem with this photo was it was definitely photoshopped. And, the, you know- her, But what her, was her, photoshopped on it? So her Kate, uh, sorry, not her Kate, her Kate's <laughs> ring, was missing. That was the one thing that people picked up. And then also there was a Photoshop error with uh, uh, Princess Charlotte's sleeve in the photo. Uh, okay. And like, it was very obvious. If you look into the, the error, you, you can see that there's a Photoshop error and it was, it was a bit blurry. There's a lot of things going on. So then- who they, Did they use Fiverr for the, for, for the Photoshop? They might've used ChatGPT, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Dali. Are we sure it was Photoshop? I'm looking at the photo, it doesn't look that bad. No, so hold on. And okay. trust me, I'm a professional when it comes to no, look at Photoshop. The, look Okay, in between where her hand is. Yeah, you can see that where her hand is, you can see something's gone wrong with like yeah. the, the checkered print of the of her daughter's shirt, I believe. God, who spends that much time people, and analyzing these photos? People, it looks fine. I actually don't, I really don't think it's Photoshopped. I'm so confused. So, well, it is Photoshopped, but this is what happened, right? People started speculating, started saying all this stuff. And then Kensington Palace released a statement um, which was an apology from essentially Kate Middleton. Uh, she was like, they were, this is what she said, like many amateur f- uh, photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I want to express my apologies for any confusion the family <laughs> photograph was, uh, we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. Yeah. And so <laughs> people were like- Caught red-handed, has to admit it. Well, yeah, That's and, and people were like, okay, this is, this is now added an extra layer, layer. to like yeah. all the confusion. So then here were some of the conspiracy theories. People were like, you know, something's wrong with Kate's health. Uh, perhaps her marriage to William was on the rocks uh, and she was in hiding. People said she'd been killed, uh, which is terrible. And she's been replaced by a body double. Yeah, <laughs> of course. That's where the word um, goes, But right? then also the nasty memes started, like joke theories began. Um, just terrible things like, you know, people started saying, you know, which is – the nature of the internet, people take one thing and then they just yeah, throw of course. for gold. That's, that's, that's the internet. You know, they want the best hot take. And then I don't know how long t- how long it has been since then. But well, I you think just said March 10, right? I think it was January when she made, when she kind of disappeared <coughs> in December, you know, from December to January, there's only like two photos of her. So yeah, it would have been like a few months now. Yeah. Uh, she came out and did a public announcement where she explained that she's been diagnosed with cancer. And it was discovered in post-operative tests after her uh, abdominal surgery, right? So obviously, people feel terrible. I mean, it's so sad what she's going through. It's not fair. Yeah, and but she has that- the money to, to pay for treatment. Yeah, but- And she will have the best doctors in the world take care no, of her. No, I get that, but you Do don't- you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and the average person that has cancer doesn't, doesn't have, have that. Those things, They're yeah. going to go sit there and have be pumped full of this chemical that literally destroys your body. Yeah, but it's and, still But it still easy. heals you, whatever. It's and it's not easy, but at the same time, like, uh, look, the only reason a lot of people out there going, oh, I feel stupid or I feel bad or whatever, people feel bad about, you know, teasing it and stuff. And 
Look, unfortunately, that's just the way life is. You put yeah. yourself out there, you're going to cop some hate, you're going to cop some teasing. We, I cop about my neck beard all the time. Yeah, but it, okay, but hold on. <laughs> all but the time. But hold on. I still don't think it's So like, if I came out and said I have cancer, are you going to feel sorry for me? Of course. Why? What, but I, like it's, okay. F- it's, over 50% of people get yeah, cancer. Yeah, and for every single person that, you know, has cancer, it's terrible. And yeah, I'm like, I couldn't even imagine what it's like having to one, be told that you've got that. Yeah, no, nah, it'd be awful. And then you don't even know like what the rest of you, like, you know, the rest of your life's going to look like. It would it would take your whole future from you. Yeah. And especially the, the, you know, the treatments are so rough. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> oh God, I couldn't even imagine. Like, well, I watched me, my mother-in-law wanna, go through it yeah, and, and was, survive it. Yeah. And I watched a person deteriorate and then come back to life. I've watched that happen. Which is, and, God and, that and, she was and it's to, the yeah. strength and stuff and you know and, and you know we thank God and we thank we thank the the fact that it's been taken care of and she's healing right yeah yeah but when it comes to someone like Kate it's not about oh, I don't feel bad for her or anything it's just about she's lucky she's in a position but where she can afford any type of treatment and something and might not even be chemo right whatever treatment that's that is given to her by the professional doctors for the royal for the royal family in the UK. Yeah. You know, she's going to be okay everyone. No, but you don't know that. Like she, she might not respond well to the treatment. Like you don't know if she can survive this. I mean, I hope she does. Like, you know, like any yeah. person I hope they do, but you don't know how she's responding to treatment. You don't know, you know, she has children, like she, yeah, she has yeah. a family. Like I, I feel for her. I feel for anyone who has to go through something like this, you know, whatever the, d- the disease or illness mm. might be. And I just think sometimes, look, I get it. The internet is, it's a catch 22. Like it can be a wonderful place. And you know, I got, I live on the internet with like a lot of mm. content I make and there's so many great things I love about the internet. But then there's also that really dark side, like anything. Yeah. And I just, you know, just because we expect this to happen on the internet to people make you know for people to make fun of things it doesn't make it okay i don't no, think no, i don't no, think no, it's no. right to bully people i don't think it's right to you know just because they're a public person oh we should know what's going on in your but life is and she we being should- is she being bullied oh we're talking about pre pre cancer announcement yeah, yeah she, they, they like were the teasing memes, her and like jokes and stuff about the photo who cares that's the internet you want to be a public figure these days well too bad it comes with that shit yeah that's what i was it saying it doesn't matter who you are whether you're royalty whether you're an a list celebrity b list celebrity or a z list celebrity who gives a shit mm. you're on the internet you're there for the public to do whatever the hell they want with you there's no consequences online that's what it is yeah but okay i get that but once again you can still you know you can still mention when something wrong is happening. But it's never going to change. Yeah. It's unless, never going to unless, unless they figure out a way to punish people for it. But then, that, then you lose your freedom of speech, don't you? No, you shouldn't lose your freedom of speech. I agree. Like you should never be censored. People should be able to say, you know, for the, for the most part, like what they're thinking. Because you'd rather, pe- you know, you'd rather know what people think than just go in the, in the dark yeah. and do bad mm. shit. But you gotta, like- You got to remember negativity spreads faster than positivity. Yeah. And yeah, that's, the, course, and that's the world we live in, right? You'd rather gossip about someone that's, um, uh, you know, you'd rather gossip about something horrible than gossip about something that's good. But you know yeah. what pisses me off though? And I, I want to say it is that when I see content creators who like something terrible has happened, and then they just want to make the best hot take through a video and like get viral hits. Like, I hate but like, it. but it's I like, hate but it. it's a, it's a very sad situation. And then they'll just manipulate it to like get views and mm. shares and likes. And they, they say it's just comedy. I look, I love dark humor and I love comedy, but there is a level where it's like, come cheap. on, man. Cheap. Like, that's what it is. Like it's it, cheap. It's people that's, that's, that's uh, trying to benefit off someone else's uh, misfortune. That's cheap. Yeah. Right? Like off the bat, like, oh, it's viral right now. It's trending this week. It's just happened yesterday. It doesn't matter. Let's like make the best video and like, you know, and, and I look at that and I kind of go, yeah, there's content creation and then there's that. Hold on for a second. Is that what we're doing right now? What? No, not really. We're reporting on something. Okay, cool. No, right, cool. like, the, but, but no, I, like the reason why I wanted to talk about this was because of that fact. Because people yeah. always say, oh, it's fine, whatever. Like she's a, she's a royal anyway. Who cares? Like she's so lucky, you know, like she's, who cares about the royals? And it's not about that. It's just about well, the bigger picture well, all this, of what I'm all trying this to say. Does, all this does is make her relatable, right? If up until this point, there was, there's only one other member that's ever announced that's had cancer in the royal family. And that was, that was Charles. Charles, yeah. Before that, 
There was never anything wrong. These guys, like Lorraine's a, Lorraine's a fanatic of the Crown show, the Crown on <gasps> Netflix. It's a good show. She loves it. She watched, she watched the whole season and restarted and watched it again. Really? And I had to sit there and, oh my God. But I actually got caught up in it a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of the time, they, uh, what Elizabeth was trying to achieve was a, a sense of superior, superiority to the people. So she'd have someone that is employed to take care of the swans in the, in the palace. Like that's a full-time job. Is it? Yeah. And to think that that's what separates and makes them superior. There was wow. conspiracies around Queen Elizabeth actually having cancer, but she never announced it or never wanted to tell anyone. There was a conspiracy around that. Right. But then Charles has come in and said, no, we need to be more relatable, right? That's what mm. the story, that's how the story goes. This is what the discussion I was having with Lorraine. Anyhow, so now Charles comes out, he's got cancer. Kate's come out, she's got cancer. They're human beings. That's what it proves that they are re- that now they are so much more relatable. She has cancer that now mo- being, means she's down to earth and she's here, which leads to my next thing. What? Not my belief, but any conspiracy theory, theory that is going off the back of body doubles and all that stuff, whatever. Is it just something that they've made up to make her more relatable to save no. her? Like, could it be that they've made up? How do you hundred percent know? Who would make up? Okay, well, there the are some royal deranged family, people the royal in the family. world. How many not, people have made up the fact okay, that they yeah. have cancer? Raise yes. money could that, and jet I off to Puerto Rico. I do not think Kate Middleton is making up that she has cancer. Well, imagine the backlash. Like, um, people no would one find... Will ever, no one yes, will ever... Yeah, but these guys have very much big influence on the me- on media as well. Keep people would find out there are literally investigative journalists dedicated to the royals. Like, they would and find And also that paid out. by the royals. They were probably paid and on the books by the royals. No way. You need I, to, you need to no not way. trust the world. And I've learned that... I've Mm. That the no, way. like I agree. You need to take things with a grain of salt, but no, there's no. I can way. already see the headline She's to our podcast episode here. Does Kate Middleton actually no, have cancer? No, this is terrible, and I don't want to start that. I don't even want to start that rumor. That's horrible. Of co- it is pretty. It is like like you know. Let's just say. <laughs> let benefit of the doubt. She does have cancer. I think She's, she has it. And, I think she. And we're sitting here saying, does she even no, have it? Well, well, it's not what we're. She going through chemo? Is that what she's doing? She probably would have she to, probably unless have to, yeah. unless there's other forms of treatment. And we all know the theories around chemo. Look, here's the thing, right? In a world that has products that are literally riddled with so much bad chemicals in all of our products that we use that literally cause cancer to then go and get cancer, to then go and buy and pay for chemo, which is hundreds of thousands of dollars if whatever, right? It could be up to. Yeah. It's just this big circle of profit for of a, for the pharmaceutical companies yeah. who also partnered with the companies that build the freaking soaps. So it's this big thing going on there. I think that she's going through a hard time. Someone's knocking at the door thing. saying, and can you just <laughs> go back inside and shut up? <laughs> I'm just suggesting things. I don't believe it, everyone. No, I believe what you said about the pharmaceutical companies. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I don't trust the <clears throat> big pharma at all. I think they're all corrupt, but- Anyway, yeah, I think that, Kate Middleton's but, going through a lot. And yeah, no, nah, look, look. At the end of the day, look, it's 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 a human being that has children. It's married. Does he and say human I've, being or does he say human being? I'm sorry, I have to address this. Human being. I've heard him say being a few <laughs> times, but I just let it slip because, like, it's when you say a quick human being, he does say being. <laughs> he says being. You say human being. She's a human being, everyone. Yep. Yeah, she and, could and be she's a going. And, and, God, and I'm trying to stop myself from cracking cancer jokes. I'm trying <laughs> stop. so hard. Is that too soon? Stop. Like I think just, it's, it's too soon. Too soon. Yeah, but someone, a comedian's going to come out there and crack a joke, and they're going to kill it, and I'm going to be like, "Damn, that was my opportunity," but I'm not going to. Yeah, don't seize that moment. I could right maybe now, next week's episode. God, uh, I could say something. Right <laughs> now. No, don't say it. He <laughs> unmute his mic. Say it. <laughs> no, don't say it. Avnisha scares me. Yeah, good. You guys Dead both scare it. me these days. Really? Yeah, I thought coming onto this podcast, I'd be able to say whatever I want. I've been, <laughs> I've been in trouble so many times. I want to say it. That's not worth <clears> it. <throat> anyway. Okay, out of respect, I'm going to tell you guys now, out of respect, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. But if you get our Instagram account, it'll be on our story. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But from now on, I'm actually not going to filter myself. No, you, you never Doesn't should. Doesn't matter what yes. we're talking about. Never Why? filter. If you guys don't like it, we, just, we, we can cut it out. Okay, this but- is <laughs> Never filter, brother. Like, never. Oh, Sometimes yeah. filter. 
Sometimes I filter. just feel like this is what we're here for. What's our okay. mission? Our mission is unfiltered stories, unfiltered conversation. That's our mission statement. Yeah, guys. but like, okay, hold on. But life is like a life. box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Unfiltered there. <laughs> no, but the whole thing about filtering is like, you know, you should be honest, but. Respectful. Sometimes respectful. Respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, good to 100%. be a respect, respectful person, a right, respectful well, human well, being. Okay, we should let's be. let's wrap the story up. So yes, of course, she is a human being, <laughs> and she's going through cancer, and that's a tragic story. Yes, it's terrible, um, and a lot of people feel bad yeah. about it. So many people going through cancer. That's like, right. I still don't like whatever. Mm. Why is everyone so obsessed with the royals? I still don't get it as well. I think it's time. It's time that they just come back down off the throne and just be humans. Yeah. I went to the Easter show over the weekend. I'm so jealous. I took the kids. What's it called? What's the actual full the name? Royal, the Royal, the Royal, Royal Sydney. Everything's East. Royal. Everything. Oh my royal. God. <laughs> Speaking of Royal. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Yeah, it's it actually is. called the Royal Easter show. I yeah, that's right. Well, it's known as the Easter oh, show. Oh, have I supported the Royals by going? I don't know why it's called the Royal Easter show. I don't know either. Well, it was fantastic, everybody. Oh. Yes. I uh, went with Lila, Evie and my wife. Uh, and get this, the ultimate hack, the absolute ultimate hack. Mm. If you got kids, young kids, and you're going out to a place like the Easter show, any type of event like that. Put them on a leash. No, oh. no. Don't bring a pram because, you know, you usually just put a kid in a pram. Yeah. yeah. Get a beach wagon. You guys know the beach wagons? The hell is a beach wagon? So it's literally like a trailer. They sit in the trailer and you just pull it around. The greatest invention of all time How, for, for, for young families. Where did families. you get that? Oh, Lorraine got it from her work as a gift. Wow. Have you seen them? Do you know what I'm talking about? No, not at all. You know, when you go to the beach, have you ever seen those young families that pull the trailer and the kids are in there, all the towels I'm and all this stuff? I'm going to be honest with you. Don't think I've ever seen that Type in, in a beach wagon right I now. I am Yeah, right I'm going to look it up too. They're excellent. Oh my God, you walked around the Easter show with that? <laughs> yes. You would have been the only one. No, I Might wasn't. Might as well take a Woolies trolley oh, I with saw, you. I saw people with, like they had shelters over the top of their beach wagons. And really? I was like, we need to get a shelter. Wait, so there were a few people with beach wagons yes. at the Easter show. Heaps, with kids? Like, like not a, a good, not heaps, but like a good majority of people. Yeah, with young kids. Wow. Because the last thing you want to do is push a pram. They're fighting to get out of the pram and all that stuff. Just whack them in the trailer. Can't, can't your kids just walk? No, brother, because they just go, daddy, pick me up. Say no. And no, you no, you but you've got two legs. Cry. No, no, no. It's not how it works. Yeah, it's not that easy, bro. They could, they could run off. They could run off to like. Oh that's, my, what, that's, that's what the leash is for. No, yeah. no. Yeah, the leash is. Yeah, no, no, no. The leash is too much. I don't because like the thing leash. is, is you don't want to. You don't want to with with any type of thing for your kid. You don't want to restrict. You always want to encourage, but mm. you also want to encourage safely. And this is the thing: you're free to move around the wagon. And when you get out, you know that you're out to walk. And when you need to rest and be picked up, you go back in the wagon. Do you think uh, this wagon could support an adult? <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. If next has got ideas, you can put put your dog in it. <laughs> no, I was thinking. I want to go to the Easter show. Maybe Jared can. Honestly, Why that would be the greatest thing I've ever. If you can pull that off, that would be the greatest thing. Yeah, I'm looking into this. So this is great. we're hitting up the rides. We've got a family caricature drawing done. Look, it it was a what caricature? Is that what it's caricature. called? Caricature. Hell is caricature? You know when the artists <laughs> draw your family? It's called a caricature. Pretty sure it's called character. No, it's no, it's, it's a caricature. caricature. It's not a word, guys. <laughs> How do you uh, spell caricature? C A R. Oh, no, caricature. K A R O T. Okay, no. Carrot. C one says C one says K. What the no, hell is it? Just think of the word character you. and then write her at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna caricature. It's C A R I C A T U R E. Caricature. <laughs> Why is myself with the mic? Oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm Off the fighting. rails at the moment. I You're am. such a caricature. Yeah, she is. She's a living caricature. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a caricature? It's it's just a, a picture. Is that word remember for my thirtieth? It's literally not coming. Oh, yes. Yeah, so if you remember my thirtieth birthday party, we had someone drawing pictures of people at the party. They're called caricatures. They're, They're called caricatures. Remember, remember that's and did you get a drawing done? No, you didn't. You didn't have the time to. You just wanted to get in and out. So a caricature, a caricature is a rendered image showing the features of its subject in a simplified or exaggerated exaggerated way. way yeah. So we had so one done. Yeah. That was that was really because we we we. we uh, we rarely ever take family photos. So yeah. for us, it was like a big thing. We got that done. We got a photo with the Easter bunny. Do you have a photo bunny. of it? Uh, oh, no, it's at home. Oh, I didn't take a photo anymore. Oh, I should have taken it for yeah, us. Shit. I'll send it to the group. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll send it to the group. Um, and uh, yeah, we went around all the rides. <laughs> the girls got their face painted. Um, but what blew my mind and Lorraine's the freaking show bags. Oh, they're the best. What the hell? I never knew. Like I knew there was hype around it, but I thought, what? It's just a bag full of goodies, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I can yeah. just go make my own or buy whatever. You get there 
and the entire there's this whole pavilion of it, and they're cheap as like. Oh, they're affordable. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. so affordable, and the stuff it gets hectic. But wait, yeah. is this the first time you're experiencing a show bag? Yes. Have you lived? Have you? Ne- never, I've it? never purchased a show bag before. I lived and breathed yeah. just to be at the Easter show to buy show, show bags. bags. That's what I'm saying. I never knew about. I didn't understand it. And then we went. We go. Oh, let's just go suss it out. And you walk in. You're like, wow, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Any niche like you want, no matter what anything. your hobby is, no matter what you they like have as a everything. kid, even for adults, I got some for adults. Yeah, I yeah. feel like Nishi, since I feel like me and you are quite well uh, established in the world of show bags. Show bags. Um, do you know what your favorite show bag was? I think me and you would have had the same one. Okay, so I don't know why. I well, no, see, usually now I just get the lolly bags, right? Like, Obviously, right? Yeah. Because. Now I know how much of a rip off the like because like, obviously I went to the women's section so like you know how they've got like Women's Day and all that women's stuff. Women's Day or the bags yeah. and then they give you like all these products. Sometimes I'll go and get like the not makeup but you get like face wash ones and stuff I, with I different was thinking, brands. I was thinking when you were younger you would went for the tomboy ones. Like, I would have thought yeah. You went so for when I was younger I would go for more like the prank stuff, or you could get like the lollies. Oh yeah, the magician bag. I saw a magician ma- bag too. Yeah. yeah. More had, toys I'll, oriented, but yeah. now I go for lollies. Yeah, I was always the mega show bag. That was the one I got, the oh, mega show the bag. Mega oh, show bag. I didn't yeah. see, I saw someone have the bag. I didn't know where to get it from. Did you buy one for yourself, Ken? No. Oh, I was oh, gonna you say, didn't? I know what you would have picked out, you bastard. No, no, one I'm, of the I'm, gym a, one. I'm a selfless father. Men's health. <laughs> No, nah, I tried to find something that was interesting. <laughs> That's what came. But I'm a bought. selfless father. No, 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 no. That would interest me. Comes with a gym bag. No, nah, that wouldn't interest me. I got that. I wouldn't. That, that doesn't interest me. Interesting. They're I tried expensive. to encourage Lorraine to buy something as well, but no, we just ended up buying for the kids, and it was that was so cute. Like just them having, and I didn't expect to spend. Look, it was a big day of spending. Can I ask how much you actually yeah. spent? We for probably spent, for? including the tickets, about six hundred dollars, six hundred and fifty dollars. <gasps> That's actually not bad. That's it's very bad. dear. I spent, I spent Easily. more. I spent more with just two people. Easily. What are you spending on? Do you know who, when I spent the most money on the Easter show? Yeah. When I took that piece of shit, the kid Leroy, when I took him to the Easter show when he was fifteen years old. Yeah. yeah. He took advantage of me, the bastard. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, all right, this kid's gonna be a superstar. So I'll just invest in him. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get <laughs> him the mega show bag and that's it. The superstar show bag. Between me and my mate Nems, you know Nems. Yeah. I reckon me and him together probably spent six, seven hundred bucks each on Leroy at the time. <laughs> We're talking food, show bags, rides, everything. I wouldn't even spend that now if he came and like yeah, in his status level of like you're getting one bag, you're probably getting the lolly bag for twelve bucks. Yeah, and that's yeah. It. Buy your own bloody bag. Yeah, exactly. Legit, I mean, he was 15, so I get that. It was 15. He's never, he, ne- he had never gone to the Easter show before. Oh, oh he would have been so yeah, excited. Imagine being a Sydney local and not going to the Easter show. Well, that was so. me. Up until so, this weekend. Yeah, so we took So it. my favorite thing about the Easter show and like any show that I've gone to, even in Brisbane, they do the Eka the Eka show or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's oh, I think that's better than the Easter show. It's like mm. it was phenomenal. Anyway, Ooh. my favorite thing to go to is the um the haunted house. Right? Oh, okay. really? You like that? Yeah, because people like and it like I get so scared, but it's like an adrenaline rush when people chase you. Yeah. Right? And I can chase you with a knife around no, here no, if you no. want. It's, it, you have to, it's a haunted house experience, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But I kid you not, I get so terrified to the point where like, I've nearly cried a few times in the haunted oh, house wow. because I wanted to leave. I'm like, this is a bad idea. It happens every time, but I still can't help myself. I have to go each time. Oh. Cause it's so much fun. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's like me with skydiving. I went once. I'm like, nah, I want to go again. I went and went and went again, and now I want to and now I want to go my third time. You want to go back? I would love to do that. I'd love to do the podcast whilst skydiving. I don't know how yeah, logistically no, that. Would no, I, can, I reckon I reckon I'll make it work. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I'll ever jump out of a plane. Oh, yeah, it's I don't the think best I thing you'll ever either. do. Did you the hear greatest thing you'll ever do? I just anything anything. I don't know if I've explained this to you guys before, but I feel like imagine we're in a game, right? Mm-hmm. We're our own characters, and you only get one life in this game, right? And in the top left corner of your screen, there's a risk meter, right? <laughs> yeah. If there's anything that I do in life that brings that risk meter significantly up, I won't do it. So jumping out of a plane, yeah. I feel like the risk meter will like start, yeah. start yeah, tripping out. Yeah, but more people die in a car accident than in a plane. Yeah, but- You jump in a car. I look at it as a percentile. That's what you got to look at. Yeah, I guess right? so. As a percentage kind of thing. Mm. Um, did you hear about the poor bloke that was in, the, um, in Melbourne, the hot air balloon? Oh yeah! Oh, I heard that about you know what that. the day before that I told Lorraine I want to go and I want to hop into a hot air balloon with you and we'll go Wait, for like a happened? nice thing. What happened? What happened to him again? He fell out of it. He fell out of it from like who knows how high up in the air. And he Shit. landed. In, he landed in someone's driveway. Oh my god! How did, he, did they say how he fell out? Like 
Oh, they, just, I'm sure they would have, or maybe it's an open investigation at the moment. I'm not oh sure. Oh my god! Close yeah, it's awful, mate. Awful. Sorry to hear in his family. Um, but That's, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like anything mm. can go wrong in these situations. I think we have less control. Like I feel like when I'm in a car, you have control. Yeah, you, have, I get it. Uh, you don't like you don't, but at the same time, you kind of like a little bit more than you would, for example, jumping out of a plane. Yeah, mm. I feel like I, I would have a it's bit just more control. Anything. Like even for example, we've got the Easter show. Plenty of rides here. Yeah, I trust the rides. I know they go through a very Vigorous. Um, vigorous test for especially the Australian market. But for example, if I was to go somewhere like India or somewhere in the Middle East that isn't like Dubai mm. or Saudi Arabia, right? Um, and I was to go to a theme park, I probably wouldn't go on these crazy rides. What would I be, just don't try. What, what would be a crazy yeah. ride in the middle of the desert in Arabia? It would be a goat ride or something. <laughs> It's, it's not cam- gonna. It's a not camel ride. A camel ride. Like camels means- are hooked to chains. And <laughs> 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 That's horrible. I don't know. And then you get to eat the camel after. Oh, guys. I Do they? Camel. Well, uh, oh yes. We'll talk about. I this. wanted, camel, I, but I wanted, like, I wanted to. Do you I wa- eat camel there? Yeah, it's delicious. Oh, you wow. mentioned Yaz real quick. The curse of the Easter show for you and your love life. Yeah. Can you just elaborate there real quick before we jump onto the camel burgers? Yeah, I've just. It, is a bit, it might not just be love life. It might be relationships in general because obviously the Roy's disappeared out of my life. <laughs> oh too my now. god! Yes. So whoever I go and take to the Easter show with me, they end up leaving my life after like six months. Oh my god! And it's it happened with all my exes, and I'm talking about the six month period. Yeah. The Easter yeah. show six months later broken up. Right. So first girlfriend, yes. Second girlfriend, yes. Third girlfriend, yes. Leroy, yes. <laughs> Four people. It's crazy, eh? So I feel like anyone that I go and I like, oh, it's on me today and I spend the money on them and whatever and like they're gone out of my life. The curse And it's all because of the Easter show. I'm talking to a girl now, right? Beautiful, amazing girl. She wants to go to the Easter show. Oh, no. And I'm making every possible excuse (laughs) I can not to go. Just get her to watch this episode. Yeah, just Just say go in in, uh, 30-ish minutes in Yeah, and and give it a watch. Tell her about the – maybe that will – Maybe that will somehow help you with the with it. Like if I don't know, break the curse. Or maybe I'll say to her, "You pay for everything." Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I was that thinking that. Let her take you. You take me to this show, but I'll reimburse you somehow. Yeah. Come tax time or reimburse something. her. They're reimbursing with cuddles or something. Girls and love, then the girls curse love cuddles. will happen again. Girls, I have a feeling. No, honestly, <laughs> girls <laughs> love cuddles. That is the <laughs> secret code for any man. They do, a but cuddle. they also don't like spending money. Yaz just goes, they I want this show. They don't like being the Yaz, provider. Yaz goes in. You know I mean? Yaz goes in on the beach wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging me around. Oh uh, well, let's get over to the camels, Yazzie. You went to the oh, food trucks. God. All right. So obviously um, my career started social media. It started yes. on social media. It, it, it slingshot me into a position of success and I was really excited. And then I got really over social media. Um, I haven't posted in a very long time. And if I do post something, it's usually a story or just something so dumb. Mm. Um, I made a promise to myself last week, I'm going to start posting content again. doesn't matter what the content is. It's just going to be me in front of the camera yep. doing what I do best. Um, at the moment now, it's obviously um, Ramadan, a holy month in the religion of Islam. Yep. Um, and here in Sydney, and I'm sure across the whole world, it's a food frenzy. So if you don't know what Ramadan is, you, um, you fast from... Uh, sunlight to sundown, and then once the sun goes down, you can then eat. Well, that's a lot. Right? E- that's easier when it comes daylight savings turned off because the sun goes down earlier. Earlier, yeah. Well, so, like depends. from seven pm, six six seven pm. Around, I think just after seven, it changes every single day. Yeah, but, oh, just, okay. but just after seven is usually when so, you break so, your fast. So, would you be if you were doing Ramadan? Would you be watching sunrise sunset times every day? Yeah, you'd be, and you'd I, I think I think there's um, somewhere. Look, I'm not. I'm not Muslim. Yeah, that's what so I want I'm to trying. Confirm. I'm trying to give give as much without, proper yeah. information without saying it wrong. But I'm pretty sure there's like a world time where they they'll say, "Hey, just letting you know, the world time today is you know okay. seven twelve. That's when you can break your fast. So the whole world will break their fast at seven twelve. Okay. Does anyone in your family do Ramadan at all? Like, is anyone in your family? No, Muslim? I'm yeah. I'm Christian. So yeah, my yeah. family's Christian. Oh, even like your cousins and all of them as well. They're all. Whole family is Christian. Christian. Okay. But you're friends. Oh, unless you're talking about like Firas, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call him my cousin, but we're not I actually, actually thought you guys were cousins. Yeah, no. <laughs> is that why you asking the question? <laughs> well, no, because, you know, but also sometimes like, you know, some people convert. Or yeah, some people, no, no, you know. my, my whole family is Christian. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. But obviously being Jordanian, it's a 99% Muslim country. We do understand it a fair bit. Yeah. Um, Firas is Muslim, Firas is fasting, and it is wild to watch it. Like, yeah. For anyone who doesn't know who Firas is, he just won Survivor Australia. He just won Survivor Australia. That's amazing. Australia, the yeah. 
<laughs> oh, what a what a man! Yeah, and that's anyway, like one of the least. hardest shows I feel like you can win. But anyway, that's it's almost. Like well, he would have been doing. Yeah. He would have been doing Ramadan pretty much throughout that ep- that whole thing. <gasps> Was he barely eating? Yeah. yeah. Well, he wasn't actually doing it. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Because when does Ramadan start again? It changes every year. Okay. It right. changes every year. Um, once again, don't know why. So you went okay. So then you 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 go to these night markets essentially. Yeah. So I got hit up by a few night markets saying, "Hey, man, come down, blah blah, whatever." Now, obviously, usually on social media, I've got one point two million followers on TikTok, a couple hundred thousand on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Let's not talk about that. Um, but I charge for this stuff, and I mm. said, "You know what? I'm going to try start doing food content mm-hmm. or just like local content. I won't charge for this." Why was it? Before you continue, why is it food content? Because you like. I love food. You've spoken, yeah, well, fair enough. I don't know, I just love food. Because like, no, but like you've done the, um, uh, what do you call it? The puns, right? Yeah. That became really popular. Like doing did that for pu- six years, too content. long. Yeah, yeah, but then you did music content as well. Never worked out properly, yeah. But you're like, you're very set on the food content. Is it? Is that going to just be your thing now, just food? No, no. So I was thinking, okay, one, I want my content to be localized. Right now it's right. not localized. It's very around the world. No matter where you are, you can enjoy the content. Mm-hmm. I want to do localized. I want to do food. It doesn't just have to be food. It could be anything that's an experience. Yeah, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So last week I filmed um, obviously the the food one that we'll get into in a second. I filmed one at a shoe shop. Mm-hmm. I've got another food one this week. Uh, but we'll see where it takes us. That's yeah. cool. I really, I really no, I don't that's know. Cool. It's more just getting me in front of the camera and presenting something. That's what I'm yeah, trying yeah. to do. Um, but yeah, I went to this food market. So I went to Mr. and Mrs. Potato. There's this crazy potato trend that's happening in Sydney right now that everyone's going crazy. And it's it originated in the UK. Have you guys ever seen Spud Man in the UK? I've heard of Spud The only potato man I know of is from Toy Story. So no, oh, we're not- Mr. Potato we're, Man. We're yes. not talking about Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Close. We're not talking about Mr. Potato Head yet. <laughs> well, I was, you know, I was tripping out because he has called me on Saturday night on his way to the market, uh, food truck, whatever it would be called. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh man, I'm going to go get these potatoes. And I'm sitting there like. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the All weird thing. All right, go get potatoes then. <laughs> that's the weird <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> you got me to tell me he's going to go get potatoes. <laughs> oh, like this Arab. He's so Arab. <laughs> he's such an Arab. So the trend started in the UK, Spud yeah. Man. He's killing it on TikTok, a couple million followers. Um, it's literally a food truck where they have steamed potatoes or hot potatoes, Yum. whatever it is. Mm-hmm. They break it apart and they put toppings on top. So yeah. the OG is, um, which I had at Mr. and Mrs. Potato in Chester Hill here in Sydney. Right. Um, it's potato. Yeah. They like crush it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Then they put butter and they mix the butter in. Mm. Yeah. And it's a lot of butter. You can't yeah. have enough butter. No such thing as, you know, too much butter. And then baked beans on top. Yeah, oh, yum. Oh, baked beans. It sounds like a nice breakfast. That's what I'm saying. type of thing. Now, baked beans isn't everyone's cup of tea. I yeah. was raised in quite a white area. Um, I'm white on the outside, Arab on the outside. Uh, sorry, white <laughs> on, the on the inside, inside, Arab on the outside. I love yeah. my baked beans. I love it. So man. I really enjoy it. Is there it. no cheese, nothing? Uh, oh, that's just one. Oh, like sorry, one they plate, do put though. cheese. Yeah, yeah, they do put cheese under it as well. Okay. But that's one thing. This guy wanted to make me everything. And I was right. like, no, no. I said, dude, I don't want to waste food. Just make me like three or four of your top. Yeah, I'll get yeah. my friends to come in and eat as well. Yeah. Um, oh, and this stuff was delicious. Yeah. Like I kind of- I saw the video and- it looked crazy. What was, like, it looks like really just big, what was the go with him feeding you? If you watch the video, guys, on Yaz's page, this was guy was funny. this guy was literally picking up the potato and putting it in Yaz's mouth. I told him to feed me. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what? Or he just uh, didn't. He it was like, "Gotcha, done." No, I thought it was funny because the cameraman. Yeah. He started feeding. He started um, feeding the cameraman too. Yeah, exactly. So, and by the way, he would feed you to the point where you actually can't take a breath. So it was like a scoop and before you can even chew and swallow, there's another scoop ready to oh go in your God. mouth, shoveling it in there. But then what happens- so Is that the service that comes with it all the time or is it just- Well, uh, in the video itself, I said, if you pay him extra, he'll feed you. Now I'm not sure how, <laughs> I'm not sure how um, truthful that was, but yeah. you know, ask and you shall find out if you go down. Um, but yeah, I had this feeling because it's like a night market and there's just food stores everywhere. I'm like, I'm going to get bombarded here. I know I am. And it's exactly what happened. Mm. So every single food stand, there was probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight food stands in this little alleyway, yeah. right? And as I'm recording one video, they're throwing other types of food at me, <laughs> right? Oh, okay. So it ended up being like a promo for this entire strip right. of, of food stands. It went from the potato to camel burger. Don't know if you guys have ever consumed camel. I would real love ca- to hear about camel? that. Real camel? 
Yeah, of course. I want to hear about that. Amazing camel I've always driven, when, I was, when I drive through Punchbowl, Bankstown area, I'd see the old oh, camel burgers up on the sign drawn yeah. up there. I'd, yeah. Uh, have you tried camel? Never tried it. Do you what guys does it taste like? No, I'm oh, like, no, 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 bring it. If you bring it in, I'll, I'll have it. We're not bringing it in. You have to have it fresh. Oh, so it's got to be a fresh. You have to have it fresh. It's a burger. Yeah. It's made of camel. And I promise you, Nishi, it will be the best burger you've ever You're had joking. in your life. <laughs> You're the joking. I swear to God. Did you do some Arab dancing then? You were full on. Wait, what does it taste like though? Like if you had to explain. It tastes like beef. It okay. tastes like beef? I can't, it's juicy beef. Okay. It doesn't taste like anything else. Um, the burger I had on the weekend, the camel burger I had, oh my God. Yeah. I could easily say, once again, not the biggest fan of burgers. Everyone yeah. knows this. The best burger I've ever had. No oh. way. Swear to God. Delicious. Amazing. Anyways, and that was one thing. And then they threw some um, uh, uh, lamb kebabs. I think, there's a, I think there's a bit of a, uh, a life hack here, Yaz. I will never go hungry again. You will never if you, if you, no, but like, think of you listening. If you just got a camera, got your mate to come film you, run on down there, say you're doing content, you're going to get free food. Oh, no one cared until they found out I had 1.2 million followers, to be honest right. with you. Everyone uh, was like, uh, and they're like, he's got 1.2. And they're like, oh, feed him. But how did it, okay. like, you ate that much food, right? I didn't eat that much. Oh, you didn't? I couldn't. Like I uh. had to keep space because I knew more stuff, including dessert, yeah, yeah. including drinks. At one point, I had six drinks in front of me. Jeez, but people were just watching you. Like, who is? This? There was a bit of there was a bit of a crowd, but it did get hard filming. So I'll tell you why. Yeah. Um, a lot of people out of respect didn't want their um, wives or daughters to be filmed or be on the video. Uh, okay. Um, were they all Mus- like Muslim Islam? Yeah, I think majority would have been. Now I'm, I'm not sure if that's a religious thing or okay. if it's just a respect thing. I don't really know. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was so hard to film and try and not get any one in the background yeah you could probably but we blur them it. but that's that's difficult to try it is it's very yeah. difficult. annoying yeah. but um can i ask you can i ask you what's what was the go with the horses because i saw the video and at the start there's a man riding around on a horse I like forgot. it was the wild wild west i forgot about the horses so i saw first, horses at the easter show you saw horses at you saw horses at <laughs> green acre in, in, in western sydney yeah <sighs> um so when i parked up as i get out of the car the first thing i see is six horses <laughs> coming down the road, actual yeah. road, what, right? Full, full pelt or just- Yeah, yeah, and in my head, I thought it was the like officers, like police officers. You know, yeah. we have police officers yeah, here yeah, in Sydney yeah. that ride horses. Nope, just a bunch of locals riding- Riding horses. Full grown, massive horses. Just on the road. On the road. And I stopped and talked to one of them as well. And I was like, bro, is this legal? And he's like, yeah, bro. He's like, literally, he's like, we'll pull up next to coppers and stuff and they'll take photos and whatever. He's like, as long as you follow the road rules, it's completely So you legal. can, what, how do you indicate? But you put your fingers out like a bike, like someone on a bike. I assume so. Yeah, that, that's you have to crazy. Just let them know that you're turning this way. Or this way. I have never seen so that. So you just in the you world. just have to write. You just have to follow the road rules. That's it. Apparently, so, so. If, even if you're going around a roundabout, you got to stick to the left. Make sure you look to your left and right. Go around the round. There's no way. This you're is that. joking. I've never seen this. Google. You're joking. Uh, have you not seen the videos, Nish? No, I didn't see no, that. Like video. The, so, so riding a horse is legal. Well, listen, I'm taking the word from Aleppo. <laughs> I'm, I, I took the word of Aleppo on the back of a horse yeah, yeah, in the middle I'm of the road. <laughs> Do you I, have his shirt off too? Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Horse riders can ride on any road unless the science says they must not. They can ride two side by side as long as they're within 1.5 meters of each other. Yeah. More than two horse riders can ride side by side. It's, mo- it's motorbike That's rules. it. That's I'm making rules. it. I am making a life bucket list goal right now. Own a horse. No. Oh. I want a, I want like six horses and a carriage to take me up the M5 and go through tolls. Oh, I don't know about carriages and stuff. Maybe that's a whole different- All right, I'll ride a one horse then. <laughs> I want to go Is horseback this- on the M5. I think you can. It literally says they have the same rights and responsibilities as other drivers, motorcycle riders and bicycle no, riders. No, that's what this I'm saying. Is un- this is crazy. Nishi, is I'm this telling a you- worldwide thing? I don't know. Nishi, I saw six horseback riders on horseback, right? And police drove past them. Like I think seven is not legal though, because they said that it can only be one, like one by one. I saw six. So <laughs> okay, they're, they're making their own rules. Yeah. That's crazy. And that's like from New South Wales, transport yeah, New yeah, South yeah. Wales. There you go. Guys, I'm getting Listen, my horse do you license. Guys, can we, <laughs> you don't need a horse license. <laughs> do you guys want to come with me down to one of the night markets? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Yes, it's please. pretty wild. I'd love it's, to it's go. It's honestly pretty wild. That's, yeah, that's insane. I don't think it's illegal anywhere. And when you think about it, it was horses before cars. So why would they make it illegal? Wow. It's true. So it's you true. to this day, you can ride a horse on any road in the world. Yeah. How many kilometers per hour can, Providing can a horse go? How, how much horsepower does it have? I don't know. A one. 
one horsepower. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, how fast can a horse go? And I was like, hey, is that how horsepower is calculated? By the yeah, way, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the calculation of the amount of horses Bullshit. it would take to generate that power. Okay. So Bullshit. Are you making that up? Or you, are you, you. You're no, I'm not making it up. You're guessing. No, it's you're guessing. Something that I, it's something that I just think makes sense. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> we have to We have to Google this. So Horsepower says, is the amount of horses it would take to generate the energy in that car. Also, it says that the maximum a horse speed can go is 71 kilometers per that's, hour. That's, that's quick. That's cracker. Yeah. I mean, like you can't go on the highway. Well, you could go just as fast as a learner driver. Yeah, I'd have to, you'd put L on your horse because- No, you wouldn't. Yeah, but like- Learners, then you know you have to overtake, but if you've got the horse there, you, I mean, you, I guess you could overtake it. Horsepower <laughs> refers to the power an engine produces. It's calculated through the power needed to move 550 pounds <laughs> one foot in one second or by the power need to move 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute. So equivalent to how much a horse weigh? How much does a horse weigh? Honestly, I don't know. Well, average weight of a horse is 420 kilos. Wow. wow. I'm excited to get you guys to eat camel burger. Yeah, I'll eat it for sure. I'm so scared to eat no, a camel just, burger. Dude, it's why? Because society tells you not to eat it? No, no, no. I'm just really weird with food. Like I I haven't tried many foods because I get the idea of it freaks me out. Like, like so for what? example, What's like, the most normal thing you haven't tried? Okay, like for example, kangaroo freaked me out for so long, right? And mm. I was like, I'm not eating kangaroo. It's not happening. And then Jared made a kangaroo sausage roll for me and he I didn't realize it was kangaroo. And you loved it. And he was like, oh, try this. And I ate it and obviously I had tomato sauce on it. So, so you can't even, taste it. Not too much, but I ate it and I was like, mm, this is really yum. But then I was also like, oh, weird. Like it you, had can taste, taste. you can taste the difference with kangaroo, yeah. right? When it comes to camel burgers, I promise you. You can't the only taste thing you'll, camel. The only thing that you'll be able to comprehend is that it tastes better. Can I tell you yeah. a wild fact about camels? Mm. Which country has the most camels? Okay. Sudan. No. It's not Australia. I know you want to say Australia. It's Australia. It's not. Is it Australia, Australia has the most wild camels in the world. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No. We have a Fact big, check, brother. I will. We have a big population, but it's not the most camels. It's the, the most wild camels in the world is in Australia. Venetia, who wins? Oh, camels. We have about 2.2 million camels in the wild. I already know this. Come on, bro. You're talking to an Arab here. Okay, so. <clears throat> so. Go from, go, from, go from the bottom to the top. Well, this is Wikipedia, so I don't trust Wikipedia. So let's go to somewhere else. Um, okay, let's go. It's to not me. Australia. Australia will probably be like fourth or fifth. It's the most in the world. It's not. Australia may now have the largest wild population of Arabian camels. May. Camelus dromedarius in the world. They live in most of Australia's uh, desert. Put your hands down. Country, including the Great Sandy, Gibson, Great Victoria, no, and Simpson haven't. deserts, as well as. Australia the has the largest population of feral camels. No, you're wrong. That's that's off Wikipedia. I'm, I'm telling you, else. you're wrong. And then firstly, you got to remember, Nisha just specifically said Arabian camels. That's actually a breed we, of camel. We 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 brought them here, and, and then the they Afghans went feral. Did. The Afghans did, yeah, yes. and they I went feral. That. Bro, my mate is a camel trainer. World population <laughs> review. Your mate's a camel trainer. I told you this. He's a camel he trainer is, in the northern, is, yes, in the northern territory. <laughs> he just packed his shit one day and went to train camels. We were very confused. Yeah, now this is cool, the, this is but you got to understand this is living. I'm a camel trainer. We should get him on the show. That will be cool. Yeah, yeah that he would can be maybe cool. answer the questions. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, we'll organize that. But <laughs> they, look, I'm looking at you got camel population, but I'm looking at feral camel population. And you know who told me that? Bro, there you go. Do you know who? Do you know who told me that they have the most population in the world? Who? Who? Eric Benner. Eric Banner, yeah, the actor, yeah. Well, he's wrong. He told me that he's wrong. But I don't care do who we told trust you that. Eric Banner, like, why? Guys, why does- look, look how simple this is. All I googled, mm. all I googled, right, was which country has the most camels. No, but that's not what we're saying. He's saying feral camels. Feral camels, camels that are wild. Okay, has the most. Anyways, well, that's not what your first opening. The most that, wild that, camels. That yes. was not your opening. You're going to have to go back and watch it because that's exactly what I said. Thank God this is recorded. And you know what? If you're wrong. What? If you're right, we're just going to continue. If you're wrong, <laughs> oh, bullshit. right what? now, it's going to cut scene to you saying it in <laughs> slow motion. Okay. But if I'm right, you have to become a camel for one day. You have to do an what? episode dressed as a camel. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Anyway, Somalia has 7 million camels. Just FYI. Chad has the most. No, Chad Somalia, has the most. No, does. Chad. Chad has 9.4 million. What's I'm on Chad? world pop. Chad is a country. Chad? Yeah. Chad is a country? Yes, yes, it is. Have you not heard of Chad? Don't, shut up, both of you. <laughs> no, this is. You don't know what Chad is. You know what it is? You, don't you know, know what, what it is? It's the C words caricature. Yeah, yeah. Chad. Anything with CH. Yeah. What? yeah. You believe in Christ, though. No, caricature doesn't have CH in it. 
Wait, what? What oh is my Chad? God, wait, what? It does. It does. No, it doesn't. Chad is C A R. Derail. Guys, derail. Just stop. What is Chad? Chad is a country. It's a country. Where? In Africa. Avnisha, you knew this? Yes. Uh, yes, I did. Wait, hold on. Let me just double mm, check. I'm it's in Africa. Everything. Chad, officially, the Republic of Chad is an independent state at the crossroads of North and Central Africa. There you go. North Central. It's huge too. The landlocked country is bordered by Libya, Sudan, uh, Egypt, Sudan, Egypt, Nigeria, um, the Central African Republic, and Cameroon border it. Yes. So, anyways, <laughs> actually, not even Egypt. Sorry, ignore that. Egypt's not on that so, list. So, Kian, just FYI, I just wanted to repeat this. We'll just get back to it. If you had, if you did say wild camels, yeah. then yes, you are correct. Thank you. But <laughs> if you said camels, which country has the most camels? Which Chad. I know for a fact that's what you said. No, you're wrong. If I if if I said wild, you dress up as a camel. Yep. If I didn't say wild, you dress- I'll dress up as a camel. Done. You, done. Either way, one of us are dressing up as a camel. Done. Win win. If you have a camel, you. Suit, <laughs> if you have a camel suit, please notify us on our Instagram, and I'll wear it. I'm, or Yaz will have to wear. I'm it. sure we can find a camel suit as well online. There are so many camel suits. <laughs> you know you're gonna wear the camel suit, right? Suits. You're gonna wear it. Brother, you are going to wear it. I said the most confident? wild camels in the world. How confident? It's so funny because people are literally just rewinding and they got the answer already, but we can't do that right now because we're live. But camel you, costume, I found it. I'm stressing out a little bit. I know, I'm 100% certain. No, nah, but I'm 100% wild. certain I said wild as well. So I'm, why are you stressing then? Oh my God, it's so expensive. Anymore. Well, we, obviously the loser pays for it too. No, if someone no, the has the a camel suit, it. please. The winner pays us. for it. No. All right, move on. Let's just move on. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Let's just see who wins first and then we'll discuss the rest. Maybe you can donate us a camel suit. Maybe you give us a real camel. It'd be nice too. I know someone that has a camel. There you go. Yeah, your camel trainer friend. <coughs> oh no, I've known someone in Sydney that has a camel. Well, in their look, backyard? Um, you could call it a backyard, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds so shady. Yeah. Yeah. Do they, do they, is it a pet? Or is it for food? No, 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 sorry. We were talking about eating camels. No, they're not gonna eat this okay, camel. I don't God. think they have any plans to eat this camel. I find it so weird that like, like people, no, I get it. It's like, that's what, that's what farming is. Sorry, I'm having it, I'm thinking out loud. I've just, I get like, I feel like if I had a farm and I was raising chickens. You wouldn't be able to eat the chickens? I can't, I'd name them all. It'd be too hard. Yeah. Do you guys know the story about what my, um, what my cousin did to his kids? Have I told you about he it? He ate his kids. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, no, no. So he brought, he went to the um, auction and he bought like livestock auction, uh, auction and he bought a goat. Right. And he brought the goat home as a little, little, little no. baby goat, right? Oh. Yeah. And then they raised it for like three years. No, don't years. say this. And the kids, this like, be- the kids were like best friends with this oh. goat, right? They love, they come home, play with the goat. As if it was a pet. It was a pet, right? Yeah. yeah, for four years you're raising a goat. Of course it's a pet. And then one day they went, um, they went to school and it was time to slaughter the goat. <laughs> and he slaughtered the goat. No. He killed the goat no. and he prepared it for dinner that night. That's so messed up. And the kids came home and they're like, where's the goat? And you know, the mum's there chopping up in the kitchen, getting ready for dinner. And the dad's like, it ran away. I don't, we don't know where it is. We're looking for it, whatever. The kids oh. are bawling their eyes out, right? Oh. And they, they, yeah, they're crying for hours and then dinner comes along no. and they're like still crying. They're going, I'm going to miss him. And they- oh, that's so awful. And they're like, do you think we'll ever find him? Oh, no. And they're eating the lamb. Did they ever or end the goat, up? Did he ever end up? Did he ever, yeah, tell, tell them? them? Oh, I think they know now. Oh, they would have been young. Well, they definitely know now. That's, Sorry, guys. That's a betrayal. That's, <laughs> that's what you call betrayal. Yeah. betrayal. That's yeah. a betrayal. Well, what are you, are you going to tell the kids we're eating the goat? You're not. But why eat the goat? That's why he bought it. He, he bought it, bought so it for, what, that's his investment. So he would have spent all this money on food, on a house for it, on taking care of it to one day eat it. That's yeah. a, that, move, that would have been the goddamn best tasting goat of his life. Yeah. yeah, all the emotional attachment in the goat. Like that's so messed up. But you know up. what? It would have been like the healthiest engagement of eating food because it's like we, we, we go and buy food from the mar- a supermarket that they sit, in the, they sit in the factory and all the – awful treatment it gets and the stress it gets. And oh, he had a go, great life. And then we go and consume that stress and, and, the, and, the, yeah. and that tension, right? Mm. Whereas with this goat, he it would have had this carefree, beautiful life. Yeah. You didn't see cons- it coming. You, yeah. you consume that. One, Can you imagine the poor little goat was like, oh, look, daddy's coming to play with me again No, today. don't say that. That's so sad. And then that's he's like, so come Then here comes the sledgehammer. Oh, that's a bit weird, daddy. You don't usually play with that. <laughs> Stop, that's horrible. That's so sad. It's sad. I would never be able to do it. I couldn't do it. I think I could do it. Really? 
you could raise a goat for four, four years, years and then kill it. Just, just, just it. like just on the pure basis of of a life lesson, probably. Nah, but then it would be it. something that then would turn me away from eating meat. That's Do you know what I mean? Because you go through that journey. <laughs> you are the weirdest. You are listen, very listen, weird. listen. All right, you go through the journey. You you understand what it's like to have a pet that you can eat. Mm. Yeah. Then you get to the point where it's like, oh, I want to eat it now. Do I kill it and eat it? Well, no. Well, then why should I be doing that to any other animal? Well, you're not. That's a thing. Ignorance is a bliss, <sighs> no, right? No, but you know what, though? Like, that's something that I contend with a lot is like, I know that I couldn't go out and hunt. Like, I know I couldn't do it because I, I've done I, I'd, it. I've I'd done feel it. really guilty. But then I can go and buy to it. my local market and just eat meat and buy, buy meat or, you know, because there's whatever. No, because there's no face to that piece of meat. No, I on get the that, slab. but it, it makes it so much more worse like wrong of i feel like just morally that's what moral I'm saying. standpoint like it makes it so much more i don't know unethical for me to like be like i can do this it's so hypocritical it is it's the biggest know, hypocritical it's, it's thing that hypocritical. we do i've gone hunting and i hated it and i'll never go again yeah but i'll still go to woolies and buy a nice fat steak <laughs> yeah it's, it's a it's a, a it's a moral dile- dilemma that's what it is but i do love my meat i do love yeah. my animals too which is sad it's, what animal could you kill easy. and eat I wouldn't be able to do a goat, but I'd probably be able to do a cow. I can't kill probably a harder. cow. And it's the emotional attachment. Bro. But it's not a violent killing, just so you guys no, know. But you, it's you a, know. It's a procedure. But you, you know, know the cows r- are so loving. Like that's like, have you seen They're very yeah. emotional. Have you noticed yeah. the, 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 the right angled back of a cow? Huh? I saw so many cows at the Easter show. Yeah. And, <laughs> and b- mind you, put the, the poo aside. The way that their back is mm. – and the and their legs is like full on right angle. Yeah, it's like someone cut them out <laughs> of a piece of paper and put it like that. Have you seen? You've never seen it. Never noticed. They that. Don't really examine the. And they were getting like full like number one sachets. I thought, oh, okay, sashes. So that must be if the the, the straight edged back right angled back cow. Holy must crap. be like the full on. Are they? Yeah, search it up. Look how right angle it is. Oh shit! Huh. That's really right angled. Cow. <laughs> it does look like they're cut out. This is not yeah. even an exaggeration. Cow side profile. You see my cow? It comes up. It's. It's. Oh really my god! They're just. <laughs> they look like Lego blocks, bro. Yeah. They're just I've straight bricks. That. They look like bricks. You could build a house of cows. Like a, you mean, could build. You could literally put them like lock into lock them together. In Holy theory, shit. you could be right, bro. A cow's back is completely flat. It's like a. Squ- it's a square. It's a rectangle. It's a big rectangle. With, with massive titties. It's really weird. God, humans are strange, eh? Do you know in a parallel universe we eat dog and farm dog? Oh, and goats are co- probably our little pet dogs. In other shit. countries, yeah. In, in other countries. That happens, yes. All right. Well, look. Um, lovely, lovely way to end it on that little <laughs> factual thing about cows and their right-angled backs. I'm going to do more research on horses. That's um, been an eye-opener for me today that you can – have your horse on the road. So. And I would love to be the one to take you guys to try some camel burgers. And Maybe. one of us will be dressing up as a camel. There you go. Lots and lots of fun stuff to come. So thank you for being here. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Uh, we are everywhere. YouTube, Insta, TikTok. And of course, where you're listening to us from, whatever spot, uh, platform, podcast platform you're listening to. And until next time, this time next week, have a great week. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Already cancelled. <laughs> If you like the podcast, prove it. Like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to leave us a cheeky review.